And you know, I think that, again, when we look at the studies, more and more that have come out over the last couple years are actually showing the health benefits of full fat dairy. It was just another study published. So one of the problems is that we've always tried to take the fat out of dairy, right? But when we see the full fat dairy actually having positive outcomes, including cardiovascular ones, um, I think uh, it's time to enjoy dairy, but enjoy again the full fat dairy. And that's not necessarily just for people who are on a well formulated ketogenic diet. Um, you know, one of the places that it needs to come back in is our schools, too, right? Our kids can get two kinds of milk fat free and sugar, right? <laughs> and what we need is we need to be providing them with whole milk. Uh, as well. So yes, um, some people can be sensitive to, to dairy. It's not common. And again, when we look at the more recent studies, what we see is that outcomes are better when we're having dairy, full fat dairy. Excellent. Two, okay. two things, just very quickly. One of them is um, a, in, in some um, racial groups, lactose intolerance is very high. Uh, and that's due to the, the sugar in milk called lactose. Uh, and for and that sugar in milk also adds to the carbs in the diet and raises insulin. So if we, if if we and we focus on dairy products that are, have most of the lactose removed. So if you eat from, you know, uh, Greek yogurt, if you eat you know, hard fermented cheese, not that American stuff that it's just they just take milk and <laughs> milk and take the water out of it, but real real cheese, full fat cheese, um, and cream and half and half. Um, uh, those things, most of the lactose is gone. And so lactose intolerance is, is a minor issue for most people. Some people are very lactose intolerant, and, and they know it, and our coaches can help people figure that out. There, as Dr. Hallberg mentioned, there are a very small percentage of people who are sensitive to the pro some of the proteins in dairy. Um, but again, that's a, a, a very small fraction of the population. Um, and then the benefit of dairy is it's the pr probably the richest source of calcium that we get from real food. You can get calcium from uh, dark green vegetables, you can get calcium from bone broth, if you boil the bones long enough. Um, and, uh, but the, and, and, and from nut, some nuts and seeds have some calcium, but the, the richest source of calcium in our diet is dairy. And a couple ounces of, of cheese per day will meet about 50% of the person's optimum calcium needs. And I hate to cut that out just on principle. <laughs>